friends, welcome back. It has been such a long time since I've gotten to just do a sit down thrift haul video with you. I feel like all of the videos that I've been doing this year have taken weeks to put together. And I'm really looking forward to just sitting back, sharing some things that I found recently with you. I feel like I'm missing a bunch of things because I thrifted so many things for Jameson's room makeover, which if you didn't see that video, it's definitely one to go check out. It turned out so beautifully and I'm really proud of that space. So if you haven't seen that one, definitely go check it out. But today, let me just show you some things that I've been thrifting. I have a couple of other things that are just too big and are already in place in the house. So I'll show some clips of those items and talk a little bit about those as well, probably towards the end of the video. So starting off with something a bit smaller, I found this five pack of napkins. This was at a garage sale and I haven't even opened these to take a look and see if there's any stains or anything on them, but it was $4 for the pack. And I thought they were really pretty, really pretty, just edged with lace off white color. It's kind of hard to tell. The sun gets so bright in this room so yeah, they're a pretty good size. I do already see some stains on them, which is not really surprising. I feel like anytime I find napkins or lace anything, it almost always has some stains on it. So I probably should see if I can get those out with something. I think that these would be so cute on a tablescape. And I feel like you could use these. Definitely springtime would be a great time for these. Um, but you know, even summer and fall, if you were to use some dried florals or something to put with them, I just feel like they're really versatile because of the color. So I got these for obvious reasons, thinking that they would be great for tablescapes. I haven't done a tablescape video in a long time. I was going to do one for spring and then Jameson's room makeover kind of took over. So I didn't have a chance to, and the past several years I've done 4th of July ones, but they don't tend to get a lot of views. So I don't know if that's something you guys are interested in or if you prefer kind of just closer to like the end of the year holiday season tablescapes. I will definitely do them then. Um, but I'm not sure if you guys are really looking for like summer or 4th of July tablescapes, but you can let me know down in the comments because that's definitely something that I can throw together. I feel like I always have ideas for different tablescapes. And while we're on the subject of table settings, I came across this set of Wilton dishes. Um, I got a lot. <laughs> so I got the entire set for $25. I got, I believe, 12 of the dessert or appetizer plate, whatever you want to call it, salad plate, and then nine of the dinner plates. So I thought these were perfect because you know how I'm always using my silver platters, like silver trays, as chargers for my Halloween tablescapes. I love using all of my like tarnished silver and these definitely have an aged look to them. And so I thought these were actually like such a perfect set to have for Halloween. And yeah, this one's got a lot of tarnishing on it. So these are just right up my alley. I did do some research and kind of read a bit about Wilton and just kind of the process of how they make these plates using a sand mold technique, which is really interesting. So they're all slightly different and they seem to hold their value decently. So I feel like no matter what, it was a good investment. The next one is a really cute little piece. I got this for $3. It's just a little like metal decorative piece. It has a couple of little holes here to put nails in it, to hang it. And one of the things that I love about our house is we have a lot of arches in our house. So we have some arched doorways, we have arched niches, and I just feel like there's so many places that I could hang this above that will help to accentuate the arch. And I don't know, pieces like this just remind me of like jewelry for your house. Uh, I have a couple of little door knockers that I have on doors too. And again, it just makes me think like it's the jewelry for your house. So I've got a few places that I would like to use this. And what I'll probably do is kind of hold it up in a couple of different places and put in clips. And you guys can tell me which one is your favorite because I haven't chosen exactly where I'm going to put it yet. But with your help, I'm sure we can figure it out. I'm always looking for seasonal decor, but I feel like my focus is kind of shifting right now to 
fall, Halloween, Christmas. We're just getting to that time where I really need to be looking and trying to find those things. I mean, I do a little bit all year round, but right now I feel like I kind of get tunnel vision. So um, now that I'm finished up with the couple of makeovers on the house that I wanted to do for the year, I'm like ready to hone in and focus on holidays. And I found this. I feel like this is a very nostalgic fall piece to have in your house. So, I mean, I see it with candy corn, all kinds of things filled up in it. I knew that this was something that like, if my mom had one of these growing up, I would have remembered it. So I thought this was kind of, like I said, a nostalgic piece to get. I see these all the time. I think they're adorable. I'm sure that there's so many cool things you could fill them with to kind of create different looks. It could be fun for Halloween time too. So yeah, it was only $2, which was the main reason that I decided to get it. This was, again, a garage sale find. And I know Jameson is going to love this thing when it's filled with candy corn. <laughs> so the next piece is not vintage, but I just thought this was really pretty. It's just this little like horse bust and it's a faux marble finish. So it cost me $4. I feel like this is, there's not much to say about this. This definitely reminds me of a piece that would have been at like Pier 1 or something, but I definitely see this up on my bookshelf or um, maybe even in my china cabinet, something like that. I really don't have any idea what I'm gonna do with it. There are no plans for it. I just thought it was pretty and uh, the price was right. For the next piece, I have this gorgeous mirror. I actually have three mirrors to share with you today. I have a problem. I'm fully aware of that. Um, I have known that for a very long time. I just have something about vintage mirrors I don't know what more to say other than I just can't stop buying them. If they're for the right price, I can't pass it up. So anyway, I came across this one at a garage sale. It clearly needs a good wipe down. I haven't had a chance to do that yet, but this one is metal and it was a whopping $4. If you saw the entryway makeover, I did a mirror gallery wall in there and I had a shield mirror that I got off of Amazon and it was made out of plastic and just kind of looked cheap. I mean, it I it wasn't terribly expensive and I wanted something that looked like a little more authentically vintage. So when I found this one, I thought this is actually really pretty close in size and would probably fit really nicely there. So I haven't made the switch yet, but that is likely where I'll put this one. I need to put a little like sawtooth on the back of it, some kind of hanging. Honestly, this is pretty heavy. I should maybe even do like a hanging wire or something, but it does have that plywood in the back, so I can put pretty much anything back there. $4, this one was a win. So this one is a bit more like rickety feeling. It's definitely not as sturdy as the other one, and this one cost me $8. Um, I got this at the garage sale with the napkins, and you know, it needs some work. It's definitely, um, seen better days i'm sure but i like the aged look of it so it doesn't really bother me that much i could take some rub and buff and kind of fix up some of this wear and tear on here uh but i thought it was really pretty i like the shape of it the design of it and i love the design on the mirror so that's why i picked up this one eight bucks gotta be careful with that one because there are pieces chipping off of it as i'm touching it and then lastly for mirrors, I got this one. This was a Facebook Marketplace find. I got this for, I want to say it was 25, maybe $30, but I think it was 25. This one is in really nice condition. It's got the beveling on it. Gorgeous, like bow vintage style on the top here. Um, I have two bathrooms that I have considered putting this in. I don't know for sure where it will end up, but probably in one of the bathrooms. I'm thinking probably the powder room downstairs. Um, the wall in there is black, so this would pop off of it really nicely. This one is by a company called the Carolina Mirror Company. I didn't have a lot of time to do a bunch of research and try to figure out what these actually sell for, but I did see that a lot of the mirrors by this brand were selling for pretty decent prices. So I think I got a pretty good deal on it. Regardless, I don't plan on reselling it. I will use it probably, like I said, in the powder room. No idea the age of it or anything like that, but regardless, I think it's really pretty. This is one of my favorite mirrors that I have found 
for a low price. So the last couple of things, these are the ones that are in place. I'm gonna show you what those look like in the house. So the first thing I found were these gorgeous wing back chairs. I got these at a garage sale. This was early on in garage sale season when we were still having like on and off weather. So people were kind of like hit or miss on having their sales. There weren't too many out, but I was still like actively trying to find them. The day that we went out, it actually started raining on us. So we got to this garage sale and they had pulled everything like into the garage. These were hidden at the back of the garage, literally facing the inside of the garage at the back of the garage. So there was hardly any light on them, but I could tell that they looked like they were in really nice condition. There are a couple of spots of wear, one on one of the arms and then one on the back side of one of the chairs. So aside from that though, they're in really, really nice condition. I got them for $15 a piece, which usually here wingback chairs go for like 50 to 75 dollars per chair so i knew that it was a really good deal and if they didn't end up working in the house i could resell them i was a little on the fence about the fabric on them uh, i really like the color but the fabric on it i don't love up close but far away i feel like you can't tell i mean this is just kind of like your typical material that you find on these old vintage chairs. I think that they're a nice fit. I brought them home, I vacuumed them off, and then I went in with my little green, my Bissell little green shampooer, shampooed them, and I actually took a toothbrush with some soapy water too, and went around each individual tufted button to try to clean out underneath them. I love tufted furniture, but that is not my favorite thing to clean out. Things just get in there and it's kind of gross, <laughs> but it was worth taking the time to clean the thing up. I also am a little bit weird about buying upholstered things just because, I don't know, they always smell like someone else's house. You just never know if it's like safe to bring in your house. So what I like to do is bring them into the sunroom, clean them in here and then leave them in here because this room is done up like an indoor room, but it really is truly more of an outdoor space, like a closed in porch kind of space. And so I feel like bringing them out here doesn't really bring them into the house, but they're sheltered at least so that they're not gonna get ruined. It's not like a dusty garage. I actually let them sit in here for probably a week after I got them before I actually took them into the house. They're pretty big, they're heavy. I was really fortunate that there was another guy at the garage sale. He was buying some chairs also. And without me even asking, he loaded them up in my car for me, which was very kind of him. We actually were having trouble getting them in there and we kept trying to like close the tailgate down and it was not going. And we finally got it and everyone that was around, several people around that were watching us struggle with this, including the people who were having the garage sale, we were all like cheering and laughing and excited about getting them in my car. So it was funny. It's always an experience with something like that. And I feel like I sometimes hesitate to get those bigger items if I know that it's going to be difficult for me to move them myself, load them myself. And then I also, of course, have Jameson that I'm usually like kind of trying to keep out of the way. So it was totally worth it. I did get them out of my car myself when I got home and into the sunroom. So I think it would have been possible for me to do it, but I'm very thankful for that man that helped me. <laughs> and then the next item was another Facebook marketplace find. So this little table that looks like vintage suitcases stacked on top of each other is so cute and so perfect for Jameson's room. I was wanting to get a nightstand for in there and I kept looking for like a little wooden table and I just wasn't coming across anything that felt like it fit in the space. And I had actually seen something kind of similar to this when I was first planning his room on Marketplace and I didn't end up getting them. I think they had two of those, but they looked kind of like luggage and they were actually made to be nightstands. I ended up passing up on those and I kind of thought back to them a couple of times and thought, man, that actually probably would have been really cute. So I was really excited when I found this on Marketplace for $25. It is literally perfect. It even has like the little latches and everything on it that work, but it doesn't actually open up. I do think that there was a missed opportunity with the top part of the suitcase. They totally could have added some storage in there, but 
Regardless, it's going in Jameson's room and if I have stuff on it, I probably don't want him opening and closing it anyway. But I think this is so cute and just fits perfectly in his room. I wish I would have had this for the reveal so I could have had it in the reveal shots, but you know, that's just how it works sometimes. And I will continue to collect things, I'm sure, and then I can just share them with you here and share them with you once they're in his room and styled. So really good find, $25 and a trip across town. And we came home with this cute little table and it fits perfectly in his room. All right, friends, that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for sitting down with me and just kind of talking about some thrifted finds. It's been a long time since I've gotten to do this. I will continue to collect things and try to upload more thrift hauls. I feel like I haven't been coming by as much good stuff as frequently as I did last year. I don't know if that's because the good sales are gonna come towards the end of the garage sale season like last year or what, but I'm going to be out hunting and I will continue to share hauls and things with you and uh, yeah. If you aren't already, follow me on Instagram. I keep more frequent updates there. It's at Krista Meeker on Instagram and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.